just a few hours remain before sunset. And the kitchen at the house of the Sri Lankan family is buzzing with activity. Fatima is racing against time to get all the dishes ready before it is time for iftar. Today's menu, I have tried my best to keep it traditional and almost all the dishes are Sri Lankan dishes which I have done. Uh, starting with the kanji which is very popular in our side. There's no iftar actually without kanji. And uh, I have made two tier kanjis, one sweet and one beef kanji, spicy beef kanji. For the snacks, I have made the traditional cutlet, beef cutlet, with uh, stuffed with eggs. The other one is uh, chicken patties. and beef buns also and also fish rolls and I have made some sweet uh, traditional Sri Lankan Sinhalese pancakes they are stuffed with sweet coconut sweetened coconut so actually kids love this so I, all, I make them whenever I have kid, more kids and family coming in and also for the drink it's faluda and for dessert I have made the um, agar pudding this Ramadan, Fatima says she's praying for peace in Sri Lanka in the wake of communal tensions after the Easter bombings in the country. I cannot describe in words how sad it was. It was very depressing. Actually, two days I didn't, uh, my routine had changed. Two days I could not concentrate on any of my routines or anything. Because uh, where I came from, I went to a mixed school. My schoolmates, classmates, we had mixed uh, religions, mixed cultures, everything. I have uh, all mixed uh, religion friends also. It has happened, so we have to try to put together everything and try to maintain our unity. Fatima's husband, Muhammad Shiam, moved from his hometown of Kandy in Sri Lanka to Dubai 18 years ago. But he still misses home during Ramadan. So his family tries to keep the Sri Lankan traditions alive during the holy month. Back in home in Sri Lanka, we used to celebrate uh, Ramadan. Uh, Tradition-wise, you know, like uh, after the iftar, you know, we used to visit our family house. You know, and just uh, say salam to each one, and even we share our meals with other uh, community also. Especially uh, my parents, I'm I'm missing them because they are not here. If I'm there with them, they will be sharing with all their traditions. So that I'm definitely missing here. Basically, all of my uh, brothers, uh, sisters are out of country, so they are alone there. So they are missing us a lot. For Muhammad, it's important that he passes on the customs and teachings to his three children. His eldest son, who is now 14, started fasting when he was 9 years old. I'm fasting because it's, a, it's in our religion to fast, like we feel like what the poor people are feeling, like in this month. When it's finally time for iftar, the kids excitedly tune into news channels to watch the cannon firing. The next thing on their mind is this delicious bread with kanji or the meat porridge taking center stage. The meal is not over until they have their favourite cups of Sri Lankan tea. Even though the family is thousands of miles away from home, they celebrate Ramadan in the most Sri Lankan way possible by honouring traditions, retelling stories and sharing food. Oh,
pull off of it. Allahu Akbar. 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 Allahu Akbar.